Number 26, lunar astronauts placed a reflector on the moon's surface off which a laser beam is periodically reflected. The distance to the moon is calculated from the round trip time. Letter A, to what accuracy in meters can the distance to the moon be determined if this time can be measured to 0.1 nanoseconds? So basically, um, we use the formula that the velocity is going to be equal to, the, or the speed, that the speed of the wave is going to be equal to the distance divided by the time. If we know now the essentially the accuracy, right? Or it could be measured, the time could be measured within 0.1 nanoseconds. That means I want to find then the distance over which I can be off by, if we can be off by 0.1 nanoseconds. So if the speed of the light here is 3 times 10 to the 8, and I plug in 0.1 times 10 to the minus 9th there down there for seconds, all right, then what I'm finding here is I'm finding the distance that I can be off by, right? Because they can measure, they, they can measure, the time within 1.1 nanoseconds. So there must be a, you know, the change in the time then is divided, or the change in the distance here is divided by that change in time essentially. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. So three times 10 to the eight times 0.1 times 10 to the minus ninth. So that's gonna be about 0 0.03, okay? So here we have now about, uh, so we have 0 0.03 meters. But remember, this distance we calculated just now is the distance based off of the round trip, right? The round trip. So the problem is that the round trip takes into account two lengths. It takes into account the length going forward and then the length coming back. So this is twice as this is twice as much. So the true distance here is going to be, or the true accuracy here in meters is going to be 0 0.015 meters, okay? This is the true. Now what we can do is take that true accuracy 0 0.015 and then divide it by this average 3.84 times 10 to the 8 multiply it by 100 to get it into a percent and there we go all right so let's just take that now divide it by 3.84 times 10 to the 8th and this works out to be about now 3.91 times 10 to the negative 11th all right Oh, I forgot to multiply it by 100, so that's 10 to the minus 9th. All right, and that's in terms of percent now. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps, and I'll see you in the next problem. Take care.